Okay. Hello everyone, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace and first I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. It's December 26th and you might be thinking, okay, well Christmas is over, but not really. Uh, not for Catholics and for Christians because we celebrate Christmas all the way up until the baptism of the Lord. So I want there's a lot of things I want to cover today, so I want to get right to it. First of all, I did two videos recently, one about how to simplify your Christmas and that was really about simplifying your secular Christmas, your gift giving, all that, your decorating, your um, you know meal planning, all the things that are ar surrounded around Christmas, okay? <clears throat> and the purpose of, of simplifying your Christmas is so that you can really focus on Advent, which is really preparing for twofold, preparing for Jesus coming as a baby on Christmas that enter entrance of our Savior but the second and more important part of Advent really and preparing for Christmas is getting your spiritual life in order for Jesus second coming so really that's kind of what Advent's about so th that's why I did those two videos and then I also want to thank everybody who participated in the daily uh, reflection Advent videos that I um, did this last Advent. I did a I released a video every day, just a short reflection video, and I want to thank everybody that participated in that and that that viewed those and that did um, participated in the Instagram and the Facebook challenge that I did. So that went really interest. That was really interesting. It went really well, and um, thanks so much for everybody who participated. And anybody who has not subscribed, I always forget to say this. Please click subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I do try to push these uh, videos out on my social media, but but I don't always get everyone out. So if you subscribe, you'll get um, these videos immediately when they are uploaded. So all that housekeeping. Okay, so one way I determine how I did in Advent is, <laughs> in terms of praying, is I look at my Advendals, okay? So I brought back up my Jesse tree, and this is what it looks like when it's done. So again, in one of the previous videos that I did, the Jesse tree, each of these ornaments represents a Old Testament reading and prophecy of the coming of Christ, the Messiah. So kind of putting this all together, this is kind of a look back when you do these um, uh, scripture readings, which we did with our family. It was kind of hit or miss, but uh, we had to do a couple in one day to catch up. But this is all the Old Testament readings leading up to uh, prophecies leading up to the coming of Christ. And so I'm going to take these white candles out just for a second and I'll light them here shortly. But what I do to pray, obviously during Advent, here's my Advent candles. Okay, so you can see, and this is how I kind of gauge how well I did at Advent. Um, if my candles are really tall, that means that I didn't pray very much. So this year I, I, I feel like I did pretty well. Um, I'm really happy that you can see in the beginning <laughs> I did a little bit better. Um, but you know as it progresses I got to a point where I couldn't even light because they were going to disappear. So I just started just lighting you know the, the week of the day or the, the candle of the week of Advent. But this is kind of a way that I gauge how well I did at least in terms of prayer time. So now, um, a lot of people don't know this, but I didn't know this, but I, um, I don't know, about 20 years ago someone showed me this, that at Christmas, as in either Christmas Eve, some people start Christmas Eve, they replace their Advent ca candles with the liturgical season of white for Christmas. And then during Christmas, I use my... Uh, Advent wreath to continue to pray through the Christmas season and that um, also I put my manger out here that's why I have a wide I have a wide angle today so that I could get my manger in there and um, one thing I don't have in my manger is kings and on the Feast of the Epiphany which is t basically 12 days I think it's 12 days after Christmas Day is when the kings when the magi arrive to worship the um, king, Jesus. 
And when I, I was, okay, I'm going to tell you this story because it's really funny. When I was a kid, and this is why I, I think these tangible things really um, were very impactful for me as a kid, but I think they're impactful for everybody. And that's one thing I really love about being Catholic is that we have all these tangible tools and gifts that the church gives us to use as um, prayer aids. But one of the things um, when I was a kid, and I think maybe I've talked about this before, but we had these kings in our manger. And when we set up the manger, the kings were always like outside the manger, like traveling. And my mom would always talk about, yeah, they're still on their way. I'm like, can we put the kings in yet? No, no, we got to wait till they get there, you know. So that was really kind of a big deal. Um, when we finally got to move the kings on the, on the, on the Feast of the Epiphany, um, into the manger and there was this one king that would always constantly tip over so i was always um just whenever i'd walk by the manger as a kid whether the kings were outside the manger or they were inside the manger there was this one king that would always tip over because i don't know his foot was broken or something but um so i spent a lot of time <laughs> as a kid at the manger putting that um that one king that kept falling down over okay so that was totally off track but um so here's my, um, I, oh, here's my matches. Okay, so I'll go ahead and light these. Hopefully I won't, I won't um, catch myself on fire. But this is what I do every morning during Christmas, and I try to do it really early in the morning before anybody's up so that I don't get interrupted. But usually I'll have, I'll keep my candles on during breakfast because sometimes I'll, I'm still praying when my kids are eating breakfast. And so we'll do the reading of the day. I don't know, maybe that one's not going to light. Okay, so every day during Christmas, well, let's, let's just talk about this. In the secular world, okay, it's December 26th, Christmas is over. But in the liturgical world, Christmas is just beginning. And Christmas in the Catholic Church in the liturgical season lasts all the way up until the baptism of the Lord. So, um... If you go to, this is really cool, I just found this today. If you go to the USCCB webpage, United States Catholic Conference of Bishops, that's your go-to resource page for pretty much anything you could think of uh, as, it, as it relates to the Catholic Church. Um, it has, they have a, a Christmas calendar. So remember I showed the Advent calendar? Um, that, that you could use um, as a prayer aid. Well, this is the Christmas calendar, and it has everything that's going on, basically, um, with, the, with the mass readings of the story of Jesus, you know, after his birth. So, um, obviously, it's, it's condensed. But um, this is just a great resource. So, every day, I will pray with the mass readings, and... Um, and really, the whole purpose of Advent and leading up to Christmas and really all the liturgical seasons is for you to get your act together and to get closer to God and to develop that relationship with God and to develop your prayer life. And that's what I think, um, or that's what Advent, when I kind of look back at, at where I'm at, it's kind of a spiritual inventory in a sense. And so that's a great way to continue that during Christmas like okay did I get to confession okay I did so I'm really happy about that um, you know obviously we go to mass but how was how's my prayer life um, am I am I living um, am I living my my Christian faith you know am I kind to other people you know all that kind of all that kind of um, things in terms of evaluating and and I'm going to be doing another video coming up in terms of um, resolutions for the new year and I've actually I've been working on that for a couple like like several weeks now um, I have a vision board that I'll show you and um, and then some spiritual goals but that's really I mean it's all about your relationship with Jesus and um, that's one thing I really really love about being Catholic I know I, I say this all the time but it's true that we have so many tools at our disposal to really um, get closer to Jesus and to really live out our faith and and obviously I think that um, you know really the, the Catholic Church has 
just so many tools because we have so many gifts that um, obviously the Eucharist, uh, which is the body and blood and soul and divinity of Jesus Christ, and we have the sacrament of, of reconciliation. So we have all these tools that other Christians have basically discarded or maybe rejected even. I don't know if they've rejected it, but some have. But we have these treasures in the Catholic faith, and really they're all just tools for us to, that God gave us so that we could get closer to Him. So for this Christmas, um, obviously, here's my new prayer aid, my candles. Um, I get to use these, and I actually have two sets of these just in case these run out. Um, and, and then every day I will be praying the Mass readings, but it also there's, there's some other feast days um, in throughout um, uh, Christmas, I think there's the solemnity of um, uh, January 1st is a holy day, the solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Um, but there's just this is just a really beautiful way to uh, continue to celebrate the season um, and and really grow in your faith. So I want to encourage you to do that. And I do want to make a couple other comments uh, to the two videos that I did simplifying your Christmas I will say that just kind of reflecting back this Christmas was I think the best because I really I really scale back on a lot of things that I do for Christmas in terms of the secular side I focused on prayer and family time and really trying to do a spiritual inventory to get um, to refocus my life on God because it's really easy to to get off track so I hope that this has been helpful if you haven't subscribed I really want to encourage you to do that because it really helps me out a lot in terms of really it's more of a time thing um, then I don't have to push it out then you just get the get the video so anyway um, Merry Christmas and I'll be back for more God bless